So the Bible says that when got old Daniel found him up, pitched him in the lion's den. The Bible said that Darius went home, didn't he meet no supper? He was so upset. So he liked Daniel. Didn't sleep all night. He couldn't wait to get back the next morning. And he went back and he called and said, Daniel, Daniel, come forward. And old Daniel jumped up out of that line of thin. Not a scratch on hey, God had sent an angel to close the line of mine. Amen. See, Daniel made the right choice. He made the right choice. The Bible says that Darius took all those people that had talked about old Daniel and even the family and their children and throw them in the line then. See, you got a choice this morning. And you can either accept Jesus as your Savior and live for him or even not. See, becoming a Christian is a easiest thing in the world. For some reason, society, the outside world, thinks it's hard to be a Christian. That's the easiest thing in the world. Amen. All you have to do is say, Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. I'm a sinner. And believe that He died for your sins. And was put on a cross. And was tagged. And the third day he rose again. Amen. And he lives in us today. Amen. We have a choice. You have a choice. I have got a preacher friend, Gabriel, he's just like a brother to me. One of the worst shots in the whole world. He couldn't, he couldn't hit that back door right there if you give three shots. <laughs> me and him used to talk about heaven a lot. And I asked him, I said, I said, Gary, wonder what you think about the judgment seat. Well, face God. What's it going to be like? You know all of us is going to face it. Amen. Every one of us. It don't matter if you're a Christian, if you're lost, whatever. You're going to face him. He said one of his professors had a South Seminole where he got a doctor's degree. Gave him illustrations in class. He said, I want you to picture like we're in a courtroom. And God is sitting up here as judge. Jesus is on the right hand of God interceding for us right today. He's telling God right today, Oh, Martin might have not done what he ought to, but God, I took care of him. Amen. You got the devil over here on the other side, the prosecuting attorney. Now get my picture now. You got God. You got Jesus as our lawyer. Boy, I'm telling you what, he'd be a lot better for his living. <laughs> he'd be just about to bed. You wouldn't have to worry about it. And the devil's over here, he's got a list of all the Martin's sin from the back when he started off. Whenever I sinned first, I don't know. But the devil, he's over here reading. He done this, he done that, he done that, he done that. <coughs> Just like y'all, he's going to do y'all the same way. Amen. Yeah. And all of us over here, Jesus is going to look up with the Father. He's a father. You're going to have to find him not guilty. I paid all of their sins. I paid all for all their sins when I went to the cross. Yeah. Amen. 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 You've got to find him not guilty. Amen. Don't you want Jesus this morning to be your, your attorney? Amen. Amen. Don't you want him to run your life? We have a choice. All you gotta do 
Inverte. Ah, amen. Mm. You might say, well, I think I'm a Christian. Well, you don't want to have no doubts. Right. But what I tell you, you like, I ain't his daddy. I only know two men that's ever done that. They went to pay them. And they never woke up. Thank God. Amen. Oh, I hope. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be one of them? I would die now if God let me die like that. Amen. Just went to sleep. Mr. Beasley. Leonard Beasley's dead. He lay down and went to sleep. His wife had been getting up for 40 some years at 5 o'clock in the morning to make his coffee. And she would always come knock on the door and she'd say, your coffee's ready. She slept with him all night and didn't even know it. But she had knocked on that door but there was no answer. And she went in there and checked him. And he had died right there side of him. Now ain't that nice? Amen. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. You say, well, I, I don't want to do that. My buddy had better lay it up in the hospital for five years. You've got a choice this morning. You can accept Christ, ask him to come in your heart, or you can go out that door and not know it. But see, there's no guarantee. If you're going to be back back next Sunday. That's right. And so we can see. We hear it all the time. Young, little, old, big, fat, ugly, pretty. It don't matter. It don't matter. But see, well, you got a choice. Now it's been defined. He tells us, he said, I stand at the door and knock. All you got to do is open the door and he'll come in. But he's not going to knock the door down. You got to open the door and let him come in. You got a choice. You got a choice. Brother Patrick's going to come up here this morning and stand. <coughs> if anybody. Anybody has any doubt? Young or old? Now is the time. Today is the appointed time. Right now. Not 30 minutes from now. Not an hour from now. Right now is the time. I stand at the door and knock. Won't you let me come in this morning? Won't you make the right choice this morning? So the pastor, you come.